In addition to things like chemotherapy and immunotherapy, which we use to actually kill cancer cells, sometimes it's helpful to use other medicines as well. One type of medicine is used when people have cancer that's spread to the bones. And if cancer is spread to the bones, we sometimes give medicines to try to strengthen the bones. Um, there's a medicine called zoledronic acid and another one called denosumab, and those can be helpful at shifting the body in favor of and toward, toward strengthening the bones, um, whereas the cancer is trying to weaken the bones. And so some folks who have cancer may be receiving those medicines in addition to anti-cancer drugs. A second type of drug that's sometimes involved is something to help stimulate the white blood cells in the bone marrow. Some of the chemotherapy medicines that we give will suppress the bone marrow, and that's normal, that's expected, there's nothing terribly surprising about that. In certain situations, we give shots, an, ex uh, an example of that is a medicine called pegfilgrastim, and that's used to help stimulate the white blood cells, help them rebound a little bit faster, make it so that people can stay on schedule with their chemotherapy. Finally, uh, there's some other situations in which we might give antibiotics, antiviral medications. So these bone strengthening drugs, white blood cell growth factors, antibiotics, and so forth are examples of other medicines that are sometimes used as adjuncts in cancer care.